Mueller. Joe Biden revealing his economic plan last week, highlighting a massive $700 billion jobs plan fueled by American-made goods. Biden's plan appears to be very much like President Trump's agenda. Maria Bartiromo spoke with White House trade advisor Peter Navarro about it. Watch. Your reaction to the former vice president's uh, economic plan released this past week? Poll-driven plagiarist by China, Joe Biden. I was astonished by uh, that, given Joe Biden's history. I, I think everybody remembers back in 1988 when Biden ran for president and, and did the trifecta of plagiarism when he ripped off JFK, RFK and Neil Kinnock uh, in speeches and, and had to withdraw from the race in shame and embarrassment. And now <laughs> he's just blatantly ripping off uh, the president's Buy American Agenda. I've personally been at the president's side when he signed at least seven Buy American orders. Uh, that's seven more than Biden signed or Obama signed during their term. Tom, do you think that uh, Joe Biden is copying the president? Well, his plan did sound awfully similar, awfully similar. Um, look, Biden has to do something on the economy. It's it's the number one issue, economy and jobs uh, still and probably will remain so through the election. So he had to come up with something. But his plan, I mean, there are two problems, and, and Navarro hit on both of them. And you will see the Trump campaign pound on these moving forward. Number one, Biden has a history here, and his history is, is not great. Uh, he was part of an administration that did not do anything uh, did not have this sort of buy American uh, attitude and agenda when they were in office for eight years. And the record of economic growth is it was not great coming out of the 2008 recession. And then obviously the plagiarism charge. It's a, it's a bank shot for the Trump campaign to be able to bring that up. It's a it's a, you know, sort of black mark on on Biden's, uh, you know, history. Mm -hmm. And they're able to raise it here. So it's uh, they, they get a twofer on this one. But certainly the sure. economy is going to be a a heated part of the debate. Well, that, that's my question to you, Maddie. How should the president react to all of this? Well, let's be very clear. Peter Navarro knows a lot about uh, Biden's Democratic economic plans because Peter Navarro was a Democrat for 30 years. He's giving the president terrible advice when it comes to jobs and economy because Tom is right. People and voters still trust the president more than they trust Biden on this issue, and that will be crucial heading into November. The president would be wise to rather than accept, trying to uh, propagate more barriers in trade and trying to use these buy American antics to get to foster um, uh, different mm. credibility with different voters, the yeah. president should stick to his playbook that has worked for him over the last couple of years. Deregulation, getting rid of barriers for the economy, getting Low the taxes. economy moving again. The president's yep. already got a great tra a trade record on that. Yeah, real quickly, do you, why would Joe Biden pick a platform so similar to President Trump? Because that is the one area that the president is beating Joe Biden in significant ways. So the only area when you look head to head on Biden versus Trump that everyone agrees that Trump would do better is on the economy. And so it's not that surprising that Biden would try to use some of those policies so that he could increase his popularity in those areas. The areas where Biden does the best is on inequality, it is on health care, and it is on the handling of COVID. And so those things are important. But at the end of the day, we saw this in 2016, and we've seen this before. People vote with their pocketbooks. So if yep. they think that the president is going to be the one who's going to be the one that's going to be better for them, that's who they're, they're going to mm -hmm. vote for. That's why, ben, that's why he went that way with his plan. Biden did. Right. Guys, thank you very much. See you in just a few moments. Uh, we've got a lot more.